Welcome to Space Nexus. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. Canada stands at a crossroads. Its fighter jet decision now a national debate with global implications. The F-35, long considered the default choice, faces a real challenge from Sweden's Saab Gripen. This isn't just about jets, it's about sovereignty, industry, and Canada's place in the world. The F-35 means deeper U.S. ties but high costs and reliance on a single supplier. The Gripen offers strategic autonomy, economic benefits, and a chance to redefine our alliances. As Prime Minister Mark Carney's government weighs its options, the nation watches, knowing this choice will shape Canada's future. Every statement, every rumor, is scrutinized for clues. The final chapter in Canada's fighter jet saga is about to be written. Replacing Canada's aging CF-18s has been a saga of political reversals and shifting priorities. For decades, the CF-18 Hornet has been the backbone of Canada's air defense, but as the aircraft neared the end of its operational life, the need for a modern replacement became urgent. The process, however, has been anything but straightforward, marked by delays, controversy, and intense debate over what Canada truly needs in a fighter jet. The competition officially began in 2017 with several top contenders from around the world vying for the contract. The government promised a fair and open process, inviting manufacturers to showcase their latest technology and capabilities. This was seen as a chance for Canada to not only modernize its air force, but also to strengthen its defense partnerships and support domestic industry. As the evaluation progressed, the field soon narrowed to two main competitors, the American-made F-35 Lightning II and Sweden's Saab Gripen. Each aircraft brought unique strengths and sparked passionate debate among military experts, politicians, and the public. Canada's long-standing investment in the F-35 program, dating back to its early development, made it the presumed winner. Billions had already been spent on research and partnership agreements, and Canadian companies stood to benefit from ongoing production contracts if the F-35 was selected. In 2022, after years of study and political wrangling, the government announced the F-35 as the choice, citing its advanced stealth capabilities, cutting-edge sensors, and seamless interoperability with NATO allies as decisive factors. The decision was framed as a move to ensure Canada's security in an increasingly uncertain world. But the story didn't end there. A trade dispute with the US and growing concerns about over-reliance on a single foreign supplier cracked open the door for a review. Critics argued that Canada's sovereignty and flexibility could be at risk if it put all its eggs in one basket. Defense Minister Bill Blair publicly questioned the risks of a single-source supplier, prompting a formal re-evaluation of the procurement process. The government faced mounting pressure to ensure that the final decision would serve Canada's long-term interests, both militarily and economically. Now, with a public announcement imminent, the program is in limbo. Delays have left Canada's Air Force operating aging jets, while uncertainty clouds the future of the country's air defense strategy. Years of indecision have fueled public skepticism and a growing demand for a transparent, strategic solution. Canadians want to know that their tax dollars are being spent wisely and that the chosen aircraft will truly meet the nation's needs. The government now faces a final high-stakes decision, one that must restore faith in the process, address security concerns, and secure Canada's future in a rapidly changing world. Canada's F-35 deal, 88 jets for $19 billion, was just the beginning. The announcement was met with both excitement and skepticism as the country committed to one of the largest military procurements in its history. The F-35, touted as a fifth-generation stealth fighter, promised to modernize Canada's Air Force and strengthen its role within NATO and NORAD alliances. But the initial price tag was only a fraction of the story. Lifetime costs could exceed $70 billion, straining the defense budget for decades. This includes not just the purchase, but also maintenance, upgrades, training, and infrastructure. Critics argue that such a massive investment could divert funds from other critical areas, while supporters insist it's necessary for national security. So far, 16 jets have been delivered, marking a significant milestone. However, the fate of the remaining 72 is now under review, as the government reassesses its long-term strategy. Delays and cost overruns have fueled uncertainty about whether the full order will be completed as planned. Rising costs and shifting geopolitics forced the government to reconsider. Global tensions, 
evolving threats, and the rapid pace of technological change have all contributed to a sense of urgency and caution around the F-35 program. The F-35's high operating expenses have sparked debate, are its advanced capabilities worth the price? Some experts highlight its stealth, sensors, and interoperability, while others question whether Canada needs such a sophisticated and expensive platform for its defense needs. Sensing an opportunity, Saab has seized the moment, intensifying its pitch as the government weighs its options. The Swedish Gripen offers a lower-cost alternative, with promises of local industry benefits and easier maintenance, making it an attractive contender in the eyes of some policymakers. A mixed fleet is on the table, but the RCAF warns it would create logistical chaos and higher costs. Managing two different aircraft types would complicate training, supply chains, and maintenance, potentially undermining operational effectiveness. The government must now decide, double down on the F-35, pivot to the Gripen, or risk a costly compromise. Each path carries significant implications for Canada's military readiness, industrial base, and international partnerships. The stakes, financial, strategic, and political, couldn't be higher. As the debate intensifies, Canadians are watching closely, knowing that the outcome will shape the nation's defense for generations to come. Saab's gripe and offer is more than a sale, it's a strategic partnership, the centerpiece, a full assembly line in Canada, tied to a major order for Ukraine, doubling production and creating thousands of jobs. Saab promises technology transfer, local manufacturing, and a domestic airspace ecosystem. The Gripen is designed for harsh climates and rapid deployment, ideal for Canada's vast remote regions. At $85 million per jet, with lower operating costs, Saab's pitch is both economic and strategic. The proposal directly addresses Canada's anxieties, cost, sovereignty, and industrial growth. Saab has turned a foregone conclusion into a real contest. The F-35 remains the backbone of North American defense integration. Its stealth, sensor fusion, and data sharing are unmatched, ensuring Canada's place in the top tier of allied air power. Canadian industry is deeply embedded in the F-35 supply chain, supporting jobs and high-tech manufacturing. Abandoning the program could jeopardize billions in contracts and future opportunities. The F-35 is a force multiplier, crucial for Arctic patrols and international missions. Most importantly, it guarantees seamless interoperability with the US and NATO. Supporters argue the high cost is the price of admission to the world's most advanced military alliance. For many, the F-35 is not just a jet, it's Canada's ticket to global security leadership. The Gripen is the pragmatic, cost-effective alternative. With a lower price tag and operating costs, it allows Canada to modernize without breaking the bank. Its advanced radar, electronic warfare suite, and long-range suit Canada's vast geography. The Gripen's rugged design enables operations from remote, improvised runways, perfect for Arctic defense. Saab's offer includes technology transfer and co-production, giving Canada true industrial sovereignty. Canadian engineers would have access to source codes, enabling independent upgrades. Choosing the Gripen would diversify procurement, reduce U.S. dependence, and signal a new era of strategic autonomy. For its supporters, the Gripen is more than a jet. It's a statement of Canadian independence. The fighter jet debate has become much more than a question of military hardware. It's now a referendum on Canadian sovereignty, values, and national identity. The choice between the F-35 and the Gripen is forcing Canadians to reflect on what kind of country they want to be, and how they wish to be seen on the world stage. Choosing the F-35 means embracing deep integration with the United States, not just in terms of defense, but also in technology, intelligence sharing, and military doctrine. While this path offers access to cutting-edge capabilities and the security of a powerful ally, it also raises questions about how much autonomy Canada is willing to give up in exchange for these benefits. Recent trade disputes and diplomatic tensions with the U.S. have only heightened concerns about over-reliance on a single partner. Many Canadians worry that tying the country's defense so closely to American interests could leave Canada vulnerable to shifting U.S priorities or political changes south of the border. The Gripen on the other hand, comes with the promise of technology transfer and a more collaborative partnership. This option appeals to those who believe Canada should chart a more independent, multilateral course, one that strengthens ties with a broader range of allies and builds up domestic expertise. At the heart of the debate is Canada's role in NORAD and NATO.
The decision forces policymakers to re-examine the country's commitments to continental defense and collective security, and to consider how best to balance national interests with international obligations. Advocates for the F-35 warn that anything less than full participation in the U.S.-led alliance could weaken North American defense and diminish Canada's influence within NATO. They argue that interoperability and shared platforms are essential for effective joint operations. Supporters of the gripe encounter that true interoperability is about shared standards, open communication, and flexible partnerships, not just flying the same jets. They believe Canada can be a leader in building bridges between different allies and fostering innovation. Ultimately, the fighter jet decision is a reflection of how Canada sees itself, as a junior partner in a US-dominated alliance, or as an independent middle power with its own voice and priorities. The outcome will shape not only Canada's military, but its place in the world for years to come. As the world watches, Canada stands at a crossroads. Its choice will send a powerful message about its future direction, its alliances and its identity on the global stage. The debate has spilled into the public square, with experts and citizens deeply engaged. F-35 supporters stress unmatched stealth and the economic benefits of existing industry ties. Gripen advocates highlight value for money, industrial sovereignty, and suitability for Canada's unique needs. The mixed fleet idea is widely criticized by the RCAF as costly and inefficient. Public opinion is split some value the security of the US alliance, others crave independence and a made-in-Canada solution. The debate has exposed a core tension continental partnership versus national self-reliance. Canadians aren't just choosing a jet, they're shaping the country's future priorities. The outcome will define Canada's defense, industry, and identity for decades. Canada's fighter jet decision is a defining moment for the nation's future. The F-35 means continuity, advanced technology, and deepened U.S. ties, but at a high cost and with less autonomy. The Gripen offers economic sovereignty, industrial growth, and a bold step toward independence. Each path carries risks and rewards, shaping our alliances, industry, and national identity for a generation. This is not just a military choice, it's a statement of who we are and what we value. The public's voice matters, this decision affects every Canadian. The jet we choose will symbolize Canada's ambitions and vision for the future. The skies of tomorrow depend on the choice we make today.